Hello and welcome back to the channel. It's Echo Stretch. In this video, we're going to check out the PS4 9.00 WebKit exploit on the PS5. Um, I want to give it a full try, see how many times we can actually get it compared to how many times we can't. I've tried it on, uh, on my other PS5 on the earliest firmware. And uh, yeah, I wanted to give it a go here and I thought I'd... Uh, go through with you guys now that we know a little bit more about it. So let's go over to our settings. We'll go into system and we'll go into our console information here. You can see that I am on the latest firmware which is 2102-0403-1. So we'll go ahead and hit our circle to back out of there. And back out of there. I've already went ahead and set the link to one of my friends. So we'll go into uh, game base here. Go ahead and select our friend. And we'll go ahead and select the link. Okay, and we'll go up here and select this. Okay, so there's one, two, and three, four, five, six, seven, eight and there we go that is what we're looking for um, so you can give it a try and see how many times you can get it see how many times it works for you but basically you want to get to this here point where it says all these numbers that is an indication that it is complete so let's give it a few more tries and just see what happens so we'll go ahead and hit OK um, I'm gonna close out of the browser I'm just gonna hit the PlayStation button and we'll go ahead and select it again and we'll go ahead and select the button. Okay, so there's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, it seems to be going pretty quick here. I did try it earlier and it wasn't as good as this here. Um, it does fail, but uh, yeah, I'm not going to complain about this here. It does seem uh, a little more reliable than the PS4. 7.55 web kit that we've been using um, but this cannot be used for anything uh, anything below 9 this is 9 and well it's just 9 and obviously the PS5 it seems to be working for it too as well so go ahead and select this again okay 2 3 okay we'll give it a few seconds sometimes it it's, takes a couple of seconds from this here part but uh, yeah, if you don't see it coming up, then it, it's probably really did fail. Okay, so we'll go ahead and hit the PlayStation button. And we'll go ahead and select it again. And it might be just failing because uh, I've already launched it a few times. I don't really think, but uh, yeah, we can certainly give it another try here and see what happens. Two and three... Okay, and we'll give it a few seconds. Okay, and nothing. Okay, and we'll go back in again. Go ahead and select it. Now, I don't think it has anything to do with the uh, the speed of hitting OK. It may, but uh, yeah, I think it should be fine. There we go. See how sometimes it takes a little longer for that fourth message to come up? Um, okay, and usually the fifth message comes right after it, but uh, yeah, you can see that it's failing. Okay, so we'll give it one more try here. You can uh, let me know in the comments below what firmware you've been trying it on and uh, how well it's been working for you. There we go. Okay, and it doesn't seem like it's going to pop up again. Okay, well, I'm going to leave the video at that, guys. I did want to thank you guys for all subscribing. Uh, we did hit the 1,000 subscribers. I do really appreciate it. And uh, I'm going to leave the video at that there. Like I said, you can leave a comment down below what firmware you're using and uh, how well it's working for you. But that's it for the video, guys. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one.